Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Welcome to Nothing's Wrong Podcast. Welcome. We are excited to have this show for you guys. We sure are. Because it is a response Mm. episode. Now, if you didn't check out our last episode, Hmm. go ahead and listen to that. It's titled, Ladies, Are You Benefiting from Your Relationships? Are you? And we got an overwhelming response. We sure did. So make sure you guys are liking, commenting, and making sure that you're tuning in because Mm -hmm. we are going to go right into it. Yeah. Like, really, it's important that we do, ladies. So make sure you're following the social medias (laughs) now. Follow them up. Don't forget, show love, show up. Exactly. It costs you nothing. Nothing. It's just a way to support the channel because we're excited to have this topic for you guys. We love when you guys hit us up, let us know what you feel. How you really feel. Exactly. But (laughs) (laughs) this one is perfect because I love the fact that you know, they did watch and felt a type, some type of way that right. we needed to also make a video about this. So, but this person came at our next, okay? okay? The next, and we'll we'll call him Patrick. Okay, <laughs> Patrick, you know who you are. And Patrick had to address us personally. Okay. And let me let me what, get, what, let what me Patrick let us know. Let me get to the message. Okay. <laughs> let me get to what Patrick had to let us know because he accused us what of a crime. A crime. Of it. spreading fake news. Hmm. Spreading propaganda Who in these streets. <laughs> is doing that. Is that Nothing Wrong Podcast? Nothing's Wrong Podcast was accused (laughs) of spreading propaganda. Again, if you haven't watched or listened to the last episode, make sure you go do that because we've been- There's some propaganda in that. And we were just trying to ask the ladies if they were benefiting from their relationships. We were just asking a question. (laughs) And so let's get into it. So let's get into what Patrick had to say. What Patrick said. (laughs) Let us hear what Patrick had to say. You guys, and I'm a, okay, so I'm gonna do it in his voice. Oh, I love it. Uh, how he would sound. <laughs> okay. You guys over there pushing propaganda. Oh. You need to have a counter argument. Okay. Because all that single provider man providing economically, that time is gone. <laughs> These women need to bring something to the table. <laughs> if he had a, uh, if he, so we'll start there. Okay. We'll start, there was more, but we'll start there. Yeah. We'll start. Okay. We'll, we'll start. Number there. one. So we're pushing propaganda. I'm okay. I'm shocked. What? Pushing propaganda. Yeah. How so? What do you think of oh. what he's told us in that part? You're pushing propaganda, and you need to have a counter argument because all that single provider man providing economically, that time is gone. These women need to bring something to the table. That's a lot. Who does he think he is? Is he a fact checker? Well, Facebook? we got fact checked. We got we got I chin mean, checked I on mean, you know. He wanted to have the counter argument, and thank you for you know yeah. letting us know your comments and ideas because this it's is amazing. a community, and yeah. we need to have that counter that other person who's gonna say something opposing so we can talk about it and right. actually get to a compromise. Mm-hmm. I don't mind going head to head and really talking it out because I really feel deeply about this topic. Yeah. I think that we need to have more conversations about this because that is a big part of the roles. And I, I, I love the fact that we had someone like want to be on the other end and say, Hey, this is not the information because the yeah. fact of it is we are not men. Right. So we don't know how they feel. Right. So for a man to, you know, be involved and kind of get us straight so that we can go on the right route. <laughs> try to put us in our place, ladies. Ooh. Try to try to get us on the right path. <laughs> Which is interesting. And I hope y'all speak sarcasm because that's what kind of show this is. Okay. All right. Don't because we're anything. we're we're getting take everything with a grain of salt. Okay. So for pushing propaganda, I really just feel like we were telling women both sides. Mm-hmm. I feel like we didn't really get into anything that was telling anybody 
not to do right by themselves right. so they can be able to do right by others mm -hmm. and give others a good experience while being with them. Right. And I know a lot of guys feel like, you know, men aren't going to be providing anymore. They want to do the 50-50 thing. They want to live that kind of lifestyle with mm -hmm. a woman. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Well, I, for sure, you already know. I think in multiple videos, I've already said that. that That's just <laughs> not what it is. Patrick is saying that women are not even bringing anything to the table. They said so they need to bring something to the table. Because obviously, to him, they're not. Right? Yeah. Well, the... The thing of it is, for some women, I brought myself to the table. That is what I'm bringing to the table myself. Mm -hmm. I came here, didn't I? But what I else did I have to bring? <laughs> Patrick doesn't. I'm. I, I'm a. I'm, okay. <laughs> Even when I'm throwing the dinner party, I didn't bring nothing to the table. Exactly. How about that? <laughs> and that's the problem. That's what Patrick's having. It's right? not a problem. It shouldn't be a problem because that's not my role to bring something to the table. It's your role to bring something to the table. Okay, Patrick. My my role is to make the table look good. See, but that's bringing something to the table. I right. didn't bring nothing to that's the table. That's why I came to the, the table, table to good. make the table look good. <laughs> and that could be from decorating the table to thing the table. That's the whole thing of man being a provider mm -hmm. and the woman taking what he provides and makes and making it, it something better. Making it beautiful. Making it worth it. Right. Making it actually be something and that was his argument mm -hmm. as we can even go on and go a little further yeah let's go into it of what else he said he said true we all have natural roles but these days these women don't want to do nothing <laughs> we'll say nothing okay. but you know what he said <laughs> what do you mean nothing so ladies are we not doing anything well i i some women aren't doing anything. And that, I always say, is I've a depressed that. woman because yeah. that is not a woman in her natural setting. No. She doesn't sit there and do nothing. And if you're sitting there and your man comes home from work, mm -hmm. say you don't work, you don't pay any bills, are you going to welcome him back home to you just sitting on the couch on social media or binge watching Netflix and everything in the house looks the same way when he left it, meaning there's still dishes all over the place, like nothing's put together, you're not even put together. Do you think anybody wants to take care of you like that? Uh, like they're not no. your parents. Mm -mm. You have to make it work. You have it. to, like, first of all, as a woman, you have to say if you are lucky enough to have that experience that you right. just said. That's an that's luck, right? Like, why would you try to give that away? Right. So Patrick is basically saying that you guys are not putting nothing to the table. If he's coming home and you're doing what you just said, right? That is is. Am I gonna pay for that? And ladies, right. we have to realize men are practical. Right. They're not gonna get a bad deal. If it's no. a bad deal, he's not making it. And if he made that bad deal, he's already, ending he's it. Ending it. He's it's not interested in finished. it. So he understands the natural roles, but if she's not doing anything, why would I do that? Just because she's a woman. That's not enough. That's not enough. And I never said it was enough. I mm -hmm. think clearly if you go back into the last video. Go check it out, please. In the last episode, mm -hmm. you will see that we stated. There's a manual. <laughs> you have to have your stuff together. Right. You have to be working on yourself, working on your projects, working. You need to be doing something. No depression. No. no. And if you got that, you need to you, go fix that. Right. There's no need for you to be in a relationship with anybody if you're dealing with depression. Well, if you're in a relationship with somebody and you're dealing with depression, then that's, that's just, you, you're going to have to face it. You can't it. just stay in that situation because at the end of the day, he's going to... Men aren't like women. No. They'll give up when they're getting a they bad deal. They don't have deal. any patience. They, not for something that they really don't believe in, that they no. don't see that to work out because especially if a man is able to provide, he can go get somebody else that can so fill quickly. that role so quickly and that will want to fill that role and take your place. So ladies get it together. This is like shocking because I have their back. I have women's back. I, I feel 100%, like, I feel 100%. like we are doing the most. I seen you guys. Do, I went to the store today. Right. Right. And I seen this woman with her family 
and she had about like what four kids and and uh i don't even know if it was her husband or her man but at the end i always see this i just want to look <laughs> and she pays and i'm like wait she was with she paid four kids four kids and uh a man which yeah. had to be the father of the the kids right and they're picking everything i want this i want that i want this i want that i want this the kids are going crazy you know mm. what i mean and you know i was like oh this is like such a beautiful family you know get your stuff enjoy right. nice weather and at <sighs> the end i'm looking at her open her wallet and give cash as if if it's cash it may come from him, but a man, it should always be you paying, paying. And yeah. that's where the provider part comes. Yeah. And especially if you're out with your family, there's no reason that the woman should be taking care of that. I've and seen I that multiple times. That. I've seen that happen at the airport. <laughs> I've seen that happen, especially while traveling. Like most of these trips, these girls be going on with yeah. these guys. They're the ones who's paying for the trip to convince the guy to go. Mm -hmm. And I'm not telling you none of this. Like I haven't been in that position before too because i used to date dusty men before mm -hmm. and i used to do some pick me type of stuff if right. you know what i'm saying <laughs> okay. so mm -hmm. i'm not you know knocking you and trying no. to make fun of you because i've been there done that when i was younger of course but now it's like grown women doing that and, and it's like if you have kids and he's not, not fair. he's not paying for anything. What is he there for? And even if me as being like the person outside of the relationship, right? Maybe that was his money, but no, it wasn't. It came out of her purse, and it was just it's it's not attractive to me. And he's well, maybe it could have been hit her card. It, it was cash that they paid. Well, maybe he gave her that money to go food shopping. Okay, still. That just doesn't make. I, she I just I didn't want to see it coming I didn't out that pocket. See a woman's pocket with four kids that she pushed out, and he yeah. said, "Like it, it's shocking to me because, like I'm saying, I see women are doing this. So what does he mean when he says this? If you ladies are doing that for dusties, why aren't you guys who are receiving men who are able to provide for you, right? And you're not doing anything yeah. while these lady pick me and." And dusty are because the taken care of. because the the roles reverse right. Mm -hmm. I just feel like straight up like this. If you're gonna get somebody who's gonna provide, you're gonna have to know what that person wants. Because you're actually, if you're not working, you basically. I don't want it to sound like you're working for this person, but you're kind of in a position to serve that person. If right. you're not serving a boss, you're serving a person. Mm -hmm. We're of we're we're all servants okay. to each other. Mm -hmm. And in that I don't sense, like that, but, I know okay. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. But at the sense we all know in business, you're there to serve. You're there yeah. to give people solutions. Mm -hmm. You're that's how businesses are run. So right. at the end of the day, you have to be valuable to somebody. So what? is the value that you bring to the table. And that's what I think is the better question is like, mm. what's the value that you bring to the table? What are you actually, what is the person actually benefiting from? Like I said before, men don't want a bad deal. He's not making the deal. If it's a bad deal, if right. he's not getting, you know, the, what he, he wants. Mm -hmm. If the guy is saying, all I want is a meal when I come home and for you to look good, then girl, if you're not working every single day, then I don't even care if you just order out That's what I on his card. <laughs> just order the food and have it there for him and look pretty and good. So when he gets home, hey, yeah, there's food here, but I mean, I'm dressed up. So if you want to go out after for drinks, like he's going to be excited to be with you. Like right. it should be... And like, girls don't know how to, like, be, like, in a feminine and, like, what a man wants. Like, mm -hmm. if he is well off financially, you have the luxury of creating a perfect ambiance, a perfect right. experience for him. Whether it be, like, you know, just putting little accents here and there in his home mm -hmm. or just, just the way that you are is enough for a lot of these men mm -hmm. to get inspired and want to go out there and dominate the world and do those things and be so happy that they're in a relationship with you right and i've heard even and receive the benefits exactly. of having a relationship exactly. and having that companionship and having somebody where it's like i'm purely 
in joy love. Yeah. and love when I'm with you. Right. Because there are men that do receive that in women. I heard a man recently just say- Yeah, those much, men marry those women. Exactly. <laughs> of how much he loves his wife. Right. And if his wife That's ever beautiful. gets sick- he will definitely not go into work. Like he would be there to take care of her. Like there's men that actually want to give you ladies the mm. love that you're looking for. I know that we're so picky about what we want, but it's just like, are you actually doing the work of right. what they, you know, are expecting in the relationship? Cause you won't get a man to care about you if you don't care about yourself. Facts. You know what I mean? Facts. And so if you don't care about yourself, you're not going to be cooking anything for him. You're not going to have anything ready for him. You're just going to be in the house looking dusty. Yourself. Right. We call men dust, women looking dusty. Right. Women just not doing their hair. Just right. Like, With a bonnet on, you're wearing the same clothes you throwing woke on up a in. Wig. Like if you're a wig person, like you're not even combing your wig. You're literally just throwing it on your head. Yeah. It's so not attractive. I also found out that men are really interested in natural hair. Right. Like they do not like the wigs, ladies. Like mm. literally that is a big You know something? Them. Even for me, like I been in and out of the wig game mm-hmm. like I kind of like wigs for a certain style yeah. and then it's like I don't want a wig and then it's like I just want to rock my real hair mm-hmm. or it's like I just want to have like extensions mm-hmm. like you go in and out but I have to say like the wig is so yeah. inconvenient for women and guys mm-hmm. because it's a distraction it is so they're <laughs> trying to figure out what's on your head <laughs> And it's just distracting but you know everybody. That. But you know but that. You know if that. you have to question, like, is my... <laughs> I'm sorry. Is your lace, is your lace showing? showing or, like, you know, it's can just they like, tell? I know it could look good. I mean, a wig with uh, some beat bomb makeup, always gonna, like, you Wigs know, look good. Wigs are great at night. At night where he can't see anything. <laughs> right. But daytime, don't wear a wig. I feel like you might as well, you know figure out what's going on with your real hair rather than um who cares what your real hair looks like i find a style that works for you that's convenient that you know isn't gonna draw too much attention but also look good right and i think that with the wigs it's just very touch and go some guys don't care but i feel like the comfortability level it's like I feel like when he's you have a marry good you sorry to interrupt he's not going to marry you if he's never seen your hair yeah, he's going to need to see your hair. So I'm just like, I wigs are not a problem, ladies. I know we love the wigs. I'm and some people know how to do good wigs. They do. I'm yeah. not going to lie. But you also have to bring your natural hair out. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Like wear your wigs whenever you wear it. It's comfortable. It's cute. As long as it looks cute and it doesn't look too lacy, then you're fine. But <laughs> I'm just lacy. telling you that these guys, they are very like touchy touchy yeah like they want to feel your hair <laughs> Yo, these they want to touchy. you know what i mean like yeah. they they want to feel the hair they want to like oh, when they're making out with you they have to put their hands in your hair like this is like it's a connection your hair yeah. is so important it's like a magnet it's, yeah there's more it's details part of you into, it is into part it of historic it grows from you exactly. it's extension from you it's an antenna right. exactly so it's like getting to know a part of you so whichever way you wear your hair as long as you find a style that goes for your hair but again i think we're off topic but we're definitely <laughs> off topic but yeah. i do want to get into what um patrick said he did cool. say i don't need a woman financially but i think the basic rules are all messed up mm. at least from the friends and guys i talk to hmm He said, I think I'm looking for someone on more of a philosophical level because I'm definitely not mentally stimulated. So I want to get into both of these topics. This is one of our close friends. So yeah, he's really cool. He's financially stable. He has his own thing going on. So he's and his friends are also in that level of life. So Mm -hmm. this is coming from the guys who women would want to date. So they're saying ladies, they don't really see that women, even though they can provide for the woman, they feel like the roles are messed up because they're not receiving psychological, philosophical, mentally stimulated conversations from you ladies. What is up with that? 
I don't know if we ever talked about communication and the way that you have to. <laughs> then maybe we with need people. to go and talk about it. So let's about talk it. about that. Please. Like, you know, hearing what he said, let's just like instead of saying, "Oh, well, this and that," it's like, no, let's have some answers where we can clarify that for the woman, and yeah. so that they can have better communication skills with these men. Good like, idea. You Good idea. Definitely need to know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And like. Because these men, they're very smart. They, they're they into economics. They're into yeah. uh, politics. They love to discuss about, like, you know. Different topics that right. are interesting. And exactly. if your topics are really, like, social media. They and don't understand social media. They not, not really. Understand. They can understand social media, but it has to be, like, you have to be mentally stimulating. Like you have to mentally stimulate people. And I get what he means when okay. he said that. So because I've been say? around women where I'm like, this conversation is so dull. Is mm-hmm. this how you speak to men? I've been on dates mm-hmm. with double dates. And you know, when I even hung out with somebody who was dating somebody else and I was just on the sideline mm-hmm. and third wheeling it. Yeah. Which I have no problem doing. Uh It's actually better for me. I get more opportunities that way. But um, I'm like, is this what women really talk about? Like, you guys are boring. (laughs) Like, I was like, you don't know how to date. Like, I feel like it's so easy to communicate with men because men are so easy to, like, connect with. I mean, they're not, like, judging you. Right. But they are. Just they are, that. but they aren't, you know? Yeah. Like, if they're interested in you, then you can't do no wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> All you have to do is make sure when you have a conversation with men, you're just smiling, even if you don't care about what they're talking about. That's it's a all big about, way. like, <laughs> smiling. Like, what they're saying is so interesting. Like, wow. Yeah, but not, like, in a weird... No. I'm a crazy chick kind of smiling, but like having a good time, making little jokes, acting like your friends, but not overboard, like still cute, flirty, Mm -hmm. you know, ladies and your conversation, you have to talk about something a little more deeper. You have to talk about something that you may be passionate about. You have to talk about something that he can see that you have some knowledge in Mm -hmm. nothing to combat him, but something that's going to invite him in and make him be more intrigued and see, wow, there's more to this girl she's deep and mysterious Mm. let me pull back some more layers you gotta kind of entice him you gotta seduce this man this man could be your future husband what are you doing what are you talking about stop gossip what you're no Oh my god. They don't want to hear about your family members, your ex-boyfriend. It oh has gosh. to be a conversation of the world. Where he feels connected yes. to you, where he feels like if this is the reason why you have to read books like mm-hmm. How to Win Friends and Influence People, How to Make Check. Friends and How to Make People Like You in Less Than 90 Seconds. Okay. You need to read books that get you to know how to communicate well with people and to have them receive you very well. And build Be- your personality. And build your personality. Learn about your personality. Mm-hmm. Ladies, this is not a game for the losing, lazy, no. depressed woman. This is a game for a woman who's com- ready to compete mm-hmm. and really wants what she wants. No right. guy who has enough to provide for anybody is going to do it for a lazy bum. No. That's why people are homeless outside. Exactly. And that's why people get fired at their job. Right. So nobody's going to take that deal. Same step. I think we don't realize that our world is kind of the same in every aspect, even like in relationships. Yeah. Like the same thing that you're doing in business is the same way you would do in your real life. That's why I'm right. telling you to put a schedule together for yourself. Find yourself and enjoy yourself. So I think he can see that, oh, wow, like she's just not standing around here. Right. She actually has something going for herself. I think one of the issues is that women tend to look at men in the way that they act mm. in a way like they look at women. They think men think like women and oh, no. men are very practical. He's right. not going to care that you were depressed. No, he's not going to care. He's like, you're lazy, you're lazy. <laughs> like, depressed. I don't care that you emotionally were hurt because of whatever, whatever. And that's why you didn't do that. Like to him, it's not worth it. Like say this, <laughs> if you are a fiance, a wife of a busy surgeon Mm -hmm. and, you know, you live together with him and, you know, he just came off of working like 16 hours 
And you know, the one thing when you come home from work, the one thing you would like is a meal. It's yes. something there hot, ready for you to eat. Are you really not going to give him anything to eat? After you know he just worked his butt off to be able to have you even sitting in the house right now. Exactly. And then, mind you, that's just even rude. if you're going to go out, <laughs> have a little snack for him to eat and not like a snack, but something for him to munch on. You know right. what I mean? Like, you know that. Like, if you came home and you didn't have nothing to eat, like, you'll be pissed. Like, damn, yeah. I got to cook. Like, you still got to like, make this man like you. You got to make him want to have you there. Right. And I think that's where it messes up, especially for melanated women, is because we weren't really taught. Well, they weren't really taught because I, I definitely was taught yeah. on how to, you know, receive somebody. I was treated well. You know, my parents always had food and things ready for me. Right. So I know, like, that is a requirement for somebody who just came from working or from being away, right. and the one thing they would want is something to eat, something to drink, something to make them feel at home. Right. So, and welcomed and missed. Mm -hmm. You got to make him still like you. You still have to attract the man. <laughs> exactly. Just because you got him don't mean that you can keep him. Right. So it's just like you have to keep the or that he's it, gonna keep versa. you. Yeah. It's vice versa. Yeah. If he ain't doing if he's not doing nothing, then you know, you have the right to act the way that you act. Right. But right now we're just responding to Patrick's um, you know, conversations. Uh, conversations. So he says versus the physical body thing, you're talking about obviously physical attraction isn't necessary, but long term you need to be mentally connected. Mm -hmm. um so let's respond to that one real quick so he said there's got to be some tr attraction oh, okay. like something but yeah more of a mental level long term or a shared same goal got it and money is not everything only time is important all right so time is very important especially right. don't waste Time. This time, don't right. waste your time. Right. While you're with that person. So Patrick's pretty easy going. He said, ladies, you don't have to be like physically attractive. <laughs> so I remember us saying you need to lose some weight. So men, some men, are, well, that's okay. So yeah, th that part I want to <laughs> talk about because sure. there are women who are not in the best shape mm -hmm. and still married, still have a good life, still right. taken care of. Yeah. That can happen. That can. I'm just saying your odds are much higher. You have more choices. If you look even better. Exactly. If but you it's good for up. yourself. It's yeah. not... For him, it's Patrick about you. Say all this stuff, but you still have Patrick on your you radar, yeah. Because you have more than Patrick. You have options. You have Duke. So, you have yeah. Billy. You right. have Jonathan. You, you have, have all everybody. <laughs> so it's a matter of like, kind of like finding yourself. So right. physically, you as a woman, we are agreeing that you still need to look good, okay? right? So. You still, yeah. I think, like you said, it's all to do with the woman's self confidence yeah. at that point. The looking good is it to comes build more you. Than, it comes with more, more than, than just options. the physical. It yeah. gives you more than just options. Like as it like, gives you discipline. Right. It gives you um, health. Health. The That's biggest one. Reason. Don't you want to continue living? I mean, right. If you're ready to go, then you're ready to go. Right. But um, he says, I think this might be the last thing. Okay. Sure, I understand the natural role, but the family and woman roles have been all screwed up. Like these women don't even know how to cook or won't cook or anything besides look at Facebook and Instagram, blah, blah. Wow. Like, ladies, he's coming for you next. <laughs> As you guys know, I am not really on social media. You guys see That's me famous. here on Facebook um, and on YouTube. on YouTube, and that is only to put this Promote message this. out, but I don't have a personal um, account for me to actually be going through and sitting down and really trying to see what everybody's doing. That is not what I'm on, and Honestly, most guys are not on women who are like that unless she's making this money. This is your money. This is one of from I've been the social that. media. If Make you are not making media. money from social media, the guy is looking at you spending all that screen time on there. And they can see as that a complete now. You can track waste. that on your phone. And yeah. that's considered a loser. loser. Yeah. You're going to get the L. You're a loser. 
Because you have nothing else going on. And the nothing. one thing that you're spending most of your time on, you're not, even, not even making money. You money. <laughs> Does that make any sense, ladies? Men also like smart women. Right. Men also like women who are doing something for right. themselves. Like, this ladies, it's not ridiculous. all about looks. Like, you do mm-hmm. also, like, when you seen Marilyn Monroe mm-hmm. and you seen she these women working. from back in the day, they were still doing something, whether right. it was modeling or acting or, you know, putting themselves in the film. In but, the film. Right. But that's what they like. That's they not like a person. Right. That's a personal thing that they like to do. They right. They like to sing. Right. They like to act. That is personal. And that's what made them also right. very attractive. Exactly. So for a woman to be doing nothing, that's making you very unattractive. Even if you're working. Because this is going for women who work too. Mm-hmm. Don't use work as an excuse. Oh, I'm so tired. I work today. I, I'll i work out over the weekend. No. No, that's this not is gonna why cut he's it. not happy. Yeah, it's like you're not do. Oh, I didn't cook because you know I work too. You it's know like, something that you have to compromise with yourself. Well, the whole cooking and thing, and you if you work too, then I feel like you don't Lots have a you don't have a like you don't have to cook. You guys no. have to figure that out between dinner. yourselves. It's like who's gonna cook? Who's gonna do something? He's it's gonna like, take you out to dinner unless yeah. you feel Most like guys you want usually to, eat um, out cook. anyways. Right. It's all up to woman. It's like, if you work too, you don't have to cook, cook. when yeah. you get home. It's yeah. only if you feel like it. That's what yeah. I'm telling you. It's, it's not always on their part because, yeah. oh, they're, they're paying the bill. But that's that I'm because you're paying, if he's paying the bill and you're cooking, well, even if you're working and he's still paying all the bills, you don't have to cook. But if you're not doing anything... But if even if you don't know how to cook, that's why you order out. Yeah. But start to learn how to cook. Then he's like... Oh, she's practicing a new skill. You're doing something. Exactly. Yourself. It's like still doing exactly. something. You're, it's just kind of like how when you work out with somebody mm-hmm. and it's like usually if you were by yourself, maybe you wouldn't go as hard. You wouldn't yeah. do that extra rep. You wouldn't like try to make yourself look even more stronger. Right. But with that other person there, it makes you up your game. Mm-hmm. Ladies, you should be constantly up in your game mm-hmm. with your person because that person you can use as a coach to make right. you better exactly. and that will turn around and make them better and appreciate you even more in their lives mm-hmm. like it's all about cultivating a relationship that right. is filled with growth and happiness where the both parties want to be there aren't you happy to have somebody take care of you and have the bills paid and be able to have <laughs> That's you have your time being honest and have that. your days right like honestly people say oh i love work i love career Good i love you. all of that but th- i'm talking to the people who actually enjoy Enjoy living life without that kind of stress and, and like can focus on, on your own thing. Yes. And focusing on your own projects and focusing on your family, your children or whatever you have going on. You putting your full focus into that right. and able to create something beautiful from that. Mm-hmm. For you to have somebody that can support you in that. That is a gift in itself and it should be honored and cherished and you should hold your part. Now, before getting in a deep relationship with this person Mm -hmm. or putting any commitments, i.e. babies, Mm -hmm. involved, you need to know what that person wants. Right. And if you don't want to meet those requirements, don't make the deal. Women are making bad deals. Men are making bad deals. Because some guys are out here telling women... They need to shine men's shoes. Oh, man. <laughs> that is crazy. Now, now when, that person when you hear lost their mind a long time ago, apparently. When you hear overboard <laughs> conversations on that level of women needing to... I'm not... You said slavery, like, serve, whatever. That, that sounds like slavery. <laughs> slave, I'm not your slave. I'm not I your slave, not be going men. I down and... Um, doing any of those things they have a company for that yeah and it's not called me okay all right i'm not the maid i'm not the chef no i'm not all those things Mm -hmm. don't get that part twisted i'm gonna do what makes sense and you know makes stand up for you stand up for yourself but shining your shoes there okay i don't care if there's a limit shining and i and i actually see this and i hate to say this but it's a lot in like Hispanic communities Mm -hmm. where the women just do too much. Yes, I see that. And I've seen that multiple times where it's like these women, I've seen a woman wipe a guy down in sunblock and he didn't put any on her. Mm -mm. 
I know you guys heard me say this before, but that was shocking to me. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not shining nobody's foot. I'll put my whole foot in your mouth before I go shine okay. your shoe. Okay. Like, you shine my shoe. Right. You lick my shoe. Right. Like, are you kidding me? Like, ladies, there are points, like, you don't have to be the maid. You no. don't have to be the servant. No. You're not the help. No. Because that's also not the look that we're going for. Right. And I don't think he needs you to do that either. That mm-hmm. He's even looking at you like you're going too far. You're going too overboard. Yeah. That's like those girls who, like, send nudes for no reason. It's like, he didn't even ask. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the fact of it is, it's like, these men... You have to stand up for yourself, ladies, because if you're dealing with a man that's asking you to do ridiculous things, no, I got to (laughs) go. That's what it is. It's like, oh, I think this relationship. So I asked him, I said, so, so, because we're getting back into what Patrick said. Go ahead. So I asked Patrick, so would you feel better if she pays half the bills and not cook, but stays on FB and IG? Because there are some women out there who, you know, have jobs and pay half the bills, Mm -hmm. but she stays on social media. And I've actually been around a girl whose boyfriend had a similar response. And he says, Mm -hmm. any woman that's staying on FB or social media is a definite no. I would the first she doesn't even have one. She should not have time for that if she's about her business. Okay. So, ladies, that's coming from a guy who's successful. He's a high-earning man, Mm -hmm. a high-value man, Mm -hmm. and a man that I know personally that a lot of women would want to be in a relationship with of what he's able to provide. Yes. And he's saying the social media... is not it. He's not interested in any woman who's going to be sitting on social media, writing statuses all day, in everybody's business, in all the comments on all the gossip sites. Oh my gosh. Sending memes all day and night. Let me tell you, (laughs) ladies, if you love that type of social media and you love to comment, why don't you put it like, why don't you create a blog? Why don't you do surveys or do something that gives you money? Right. Because the way you guys are going hard on these things, you should get paid. Seriously. Right. Thank you. And it's getting ridiculous. And then also for him to like say this, this is must be a really big problem for him. Right. right. Right now we're in the social media era. So you're going to constantly come across these types of women mm-hmm. and Men aren't really interested in it because it makes you, again, seem like a loser. You have not much things going on in your life and Mm -hmm. you need filler because social media is a distraction. So he's like, where's your work? So if you're even if you're working and you come home and you're not doing something, you're not actually you know, creating anything, working on a project, working on yourself, working on your health, working on something that's something for you, walking anything, and you're just going straight on social media, it's it's not going to work. It's not, you you won't have a personality. You won't have anything different about you. Mm-hmm. Ladies, did you take up a new sport? Did you take up a new activity during COVID? Do you have something that you can talk about with passion and enthusiasm mm-hmm. and make somebody want to maybe try this new skill you picked up or maybe take you to this new restaurant that you found while you were on a nice walk around this new town that you haven't visited before and you were telling him all about your beautiful adventures on how you like like to take weekends to go different places and now he knows how to treat you well because he can just take you here and take you there and you're excited about it are you really captivating him okay if i were you i would like write it all down no, if you're not a writer i would literally press like there's on your iphones like where you can record save all those yeah and then those, that's my speech ladies don't bring up your social media they hate it so just want to let you know yeah that, and, and it's like why do you want him to see you on um, see your they, social media because, that's the weird part it's like if you're dating a guy i feel like you shouldn't even be he shouldn't even have your social media you so, guys shouldn't even be in that 
women are so adapt to dealing with younger men. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So a lot of young men are on social media. So it's like, hey, what's your social media? You got Instagram? Can I follow you? So yeah. those are the kind of conversations that they have. So right. when they end up talking to an affluent man or a man with high value or a successful man, right. um, they're kind of confused on how to talk to them. They That's start fair. talking um, on the level of the dust. So <laughs> ladies, if you are like, if you get that chance to get lucky enough to deal with a successful man, you do not bring up social media. You do not even know what social media is. No, and even if he has a social media, I He's just not feel gonna like talk about don't. It He's not if he even asks you, like, do you have social media? Just say no. Yeah. Like, I don't really think that it's important like that. Like, right. you don't need to, like, be social media connected mm-hmm. unless you want to get your heart broken. Like, Always. honestly, That's you don't does. need to see who he's following, no. who he's doing this. You're there in real life. Do you want your real life to be popping or right. do you want the image to look popping? Because women get caught up in, why doesn't he post me? Why doesn't he do that? Because he doesn't. And you shouldn't be asking him to like really if you have to ask then it's it's, it's, it's not, not gonna, gonna happen it shouldn't even happen There's because you had to have ask for media it media that just like will embrace that they're in a relationship will right you without questioning without so questioning it and it was no their idea the same way you have friends that may or may not post you right. when you're hanging out with them and you right. don't care because it's not a big deal to you. But because it's this relationship and it's because of social media and it's like you're supposed to show all these people that we're together mm-hmm. and it's like you're supposed to show me off. How about I don't have a social media? Right. How about I'm taking myself out that game completely because I'm popping in real life. Exactly. My real life is popping. That's the thing, ladies. My real life is your working real life out needs for me. to pop. You yeah. don't have to worry about who's commenting on your man's page, who's doing that. Just bringing right. more chaos into the relationship. That's how it. They end that's up really up. how it is. And you know, it's just like and that's race. how you get a bad deal. Like, yeah. okay, we're not telling you what we're saying. If you're in a good relationship and everything's working out for you, but maybe your man is not able to provide and do all that stuff, don't leave your man because you hear somebody else telling you this is this you way. When you're I would never tell you that. No. I I would always tell you work on yourself and if it comes down to the point that you have the opportunity to level up always level up that's mm-hmm. the only thing i could tell you to do I, but can people, i add on to that too go ahead it's like also while you're doing that you're inspiring him especially if he's not like successful or anything right you're inspiring him to want to do better so right. that's just like the inspiration of like that's oh my girl is doing good like right. oh let me start thinking about doing a business or let, let me, me start, start getting myself together let right. me start working out i see her working, working out. out i'm gonna start working out right so it's just like it's a train so you start it if it's not happening you me. have to learn how to inspire a man ladies right. that's what you're here to do exactly. it's uh, everything you said is all fact like right. even if he's not going to do it he's going to be proud that you're doing it right. and it's going to make him want to be with you. Mm-hmm. you your whole thing is to build make you it's you're here in a relationship with this person to make each other better right what better way to make each other better is to continue to show up continue to be there exactly so i feel what patrick has to say thank Mm -hmm. you patrick for commenting and you know sharing with us your ideas because this discussion really did need to happen and we can make this because the roles i feel they are they do need to be defined they They do do need to be you know really explained because Mm -hmm. women have a idea that it's about what money or education they have that they bring to the table but if your personality isn't working for the guy a lot of these successful high value women who are ceos or you know presidents of companies and you know out here killing the game the reason why you're not really succeeding in the relationship department is because you're bringing that personality to your your relationship. relationship yeah it's very bossy and it's just like you have to be chill you have to have connection you have to have a a vibration with that person where they're like this is This is the best deal I've ever got. Because it is a deal. A relationship is a deal. No matter what, like you got to actually do your part 
They can't and feel, I feel like, like they're not getting anything out of this relationship. It has to be like sexy. It does, and I always. feel like that is something that Number women one. are forgetting. And I don't mean that in a sexist type of way. Mm-hmm. I mean it in an attraction type right. of way. It has to be sexy to him. Mm-hmm. The the being with you has to be something that he finds sexy. Mm-hmm. The same way like somebody can look at like a real estate deal and like that's sexy. Right. Like that's something that's mm-hmm. like it's hitting all of yes. the points for me. Right. It's just doing it for it me. It has a pool. Yeah. It has a jacuzzi. And it's like, Ooh. it's like, I can see a nice view. That's a great glass all over the place. Like That thing is sexy. That's why I said that's you what you get you what things. you want. Right. But it's it doesn't have thing. to be sexist to be sexy. No. You got to understand that it's a way to attract right. a person to want to have them want to be that person for you. Right. So it's like, If you're not able to cultivate this inside of yourself, which I'm sure every woman can do it if she really wants to and tries. She can. These men aren't going to take the deal. Because they can provide. They they don't have a problem working. If you got a man that got a problem working, then you got the wrong man. Keep it going. I, I, the, there's so much fishes in the sea. I think that we're so there's a sold me- to like, oh, this one person because they hit one checkbox in the the Girl, biggest thing that you thought if, you wanted in your relationship. But clearly that person is not benefiting you. You're not benefiting at all. The, everything has to come your way. That is not a relationship. Right. You're being used and abused. Right. Okay. And you got to make the man want to want to provide for you. Right. So if you are not something that he wants to provide for, it's not worth it. Again, I'm going to say it. He's not going to take the deal. No, he's not. And if you agree to it, he's going to cancel it. Mm -hmm. Because it's not, it's not panning out the way it needs to pan out. And nobody's going to sit there and say, I'll just keep it because uh, I've been here. If you don't pay your rent, let me use this example. If you don't pay your rent, there's going to be an eviction notice. Right. Okay? Right. So the same goes in a relationship. And some women women don't want to have that burden over their head. But I'm like, but you rather wake up early in the morning every day to get ready to go do something you really don't want to do? Not be creative, not be who you are, not have Stop time to focus on yourself. Like, really, think about the brainwashing that women really take in. Because women Stop. have taken so much of the masculine role yeah, that she's do. willing to go do the masculine thing, yeah. which is to go out there and do that. That she's not even willing to submit to the idea of even presenting herself in a way that men like. Yeah. And because she wants to be the masculine role so bad. Like, I don't think that she wants to do it so bad. I like you said. I think it's more so of like you know they've been conditioned to think that this is the way of living. True, and the same way this is they've been conditioned of the way that they speak to men because those are the kind of men that they dealt with. So being on our hearing the information on our show, it kind of helps women get out of that mindset and kind of focus more on giving the men exactly what they're looking for right. and that's not only to give it to them but give it to yourself right. that's gonna like a that's gonna give a, you what yeah, you want to and have a provider in your life is like yeah. it's so beneficial especially for a lot of the women who didn't grow up with fathers, fathers and yeah. i feel like that's the reason why they feel like they had to do that because right. they may have saw their parent mother mm-hmm take that role and they feel like that's what I have to do and that's what I'm going to bring to those relationships and then those women get into relationships with mama's boys that their mother was in a similar situation so they're used to women taking on that control and taking on that role where it kind of messes up the role dynamic where it's like you end up in a 50-50 situation you end up with guys who feel like they're the prize and Mm -hmm. they're the ones who deserve all of the things that kind of aren't even in their place and you get a lot of feminine type of men and then you're left with you know all the other type of men are really what women really want Mm -hmm. and if we're continuing to take these feminine type of men we're putting up a wrong idea of what we actually want i will never I i would never side on that idea of 50 50 because what i consider 50 50 is you buy the car and i drive it Mm -hmm. that's 50 50 Mm -hmm. and if a man can't understand that or doesn't want to be a part of that that's fine i i'm not for everybody 
But there are men that have no problem with that. Right. See, you got to take the deal for whoever you are. Chanel's not going on sale because they, they don't care if you can afford it. Mm-hmm. It's the price is the price. Right. That's just what it is. Okay. I used to work with a designer and that was always her thing. And they, you know, other retailers like Saks and stuff would ask her, oh, what, can we discount it? Can we get a markdown? Can we do this? No. The price is the price. Mm-hmm. We don't go on sale. Mm-mm. You have the right to say that. And the people who can afford it, they will afford it. Right. And that's what you stand on. Ladies, don't shoot yourself low. It's the same thing with the men. There's women who will do the things that you want to do. If you if you feel like, I know people feel like, oh yeah, you need to bring your uh, requirements down. Don't make me unrealistic, but definitely have respect for yourself. Right. So I think that, I had to say my piece. No, your piece is yeah. like a hundred percent. Like we yeah. literally have to put that all in perspective because us thinking that we can't amount to something is going to definitely get you back to the same way that you went. So the more mm-hmm. motivation you have on yourself and not kind of like saying, I'm going to have to cross this out so I can like make sure that this person who you think is the one can accept. Right. But there's more fishes in the sea and you got to understand that that's how life works. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It's not a problem. Right. And I think us as women, we need to stop being so emotional and stop Mm. thinking that these relationships are like your friends. Mm. This is your man. Basically, ladies, what I'm trying to explain is that you need to show up for yourself so that when you're in these relationships, it works out. Because if you're not here, then who are they with? Themselves? They're not going to be happy with that. So that's why they're in a relationship, clearly. So learning what you learned tonight, do better. Do not bring up social media. Do not bring nothing to the table when you're dating these men. Show up to the table. Right. Be the reason why every man wants to sit at this table. table. Okay. See, ladies, Be worth there's it. a way for you to bring something to the table without you pulling out your purse mm-hmm. and talking about what you went to school for. They don't There's care. more that you can bring to the table than your quote unquote, uh, personal life that nobody really cares about. We don't care about your ex. We don't people, care about who people hurt you. really want to feel connected to people yeah. by the things that they can relate to. Okay. In a happy way. No so sad stuff. Positive <laughs> memories. Okay. Positive feelings. Right. Joy. Mm-hmm. These are really simple things that you can really just write down if you need to mm-hmm. so you can have something to speak to him about. Practice. Look Looks good, perfect. speak yeah. good, mm-hmm. be inspiring, right? Be yourself, number one, but not that. Self not too much that of yourself is not that doesn't all get of what we people. said before. <laughs> Do not bring that. You still got to keep it good as a girl together, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and be sexy. Yeah, always, always have Feel that, that sex appeal within yourself for sure. Okay, that even if you're not outwardly sexy you still have that lingerie under your turtleneck don't forget that ladies you still have that hidden fire Mm -hmm. inside of you that's burning and that's giving off all of this beautiful energy to attract the man that you want ladies he's waiting for you he's definitely waiting for you (laughs) and fellas i'm so happy that you guys had some comments for us and thank yes. you for participating. Thank you, Patrick, for your words. I hope that we get fed, cleared so up you, some Patrick. of that propaganda you thought we were spilling out yes. here. And I'm happy that we got to discuss this a little further because it's important that ladies understand that these men are not go- about making bad deals. They're not. No good deal. It's not, not happening. And they're not your pinky binks, ladies. So if you better. want him to at least make him want to crack the thing open. <laughs> okay. You know, yeah. you show him where the things are. Keep your hands clean. Mm-hmm. Show him where the things are, but keep your hands clean. If you always know what I'm keep, saying, always keep it. Clean. <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in on another episode. Make sure you're liking, commenting, sharing, doing all that fun stuff. And if you would like to support the channel, make sure you hit our cash app dollar sign nothing's wrong pod and always remember nothing's wrong bye guys bye